Hi everyone, it's Domino here from Cotton on Manchester. I hope everybody is well. Um, this is this week's newsletter. Um, so we have had a crazy busy week here at Cotton on Manchester. Um, I guess people are busy getting things booked in now that things are opening up. We had the news this week that um, we can start eating indoors as of next week and we can meet more people outside, have people in our homes again. So I think with all that, We've been busy too because we've been able to do more things. Um, and it means that this roadmap seems to be panning out right. So we are planning a lot for the summer. So I'll go into that a little bit more in a minute. Um, news this week, news and updates. So we've ran our first two workshops. Yay! Um, we did our hoop embroidery workshop on the Saturday and we did the wire sculpture workshop on the Monday, and they both were successes. Um, yeah, I was really pleased. I was there for both of them. We held them at Stratford Public Hall, and um, we've had some really good feedback, people saying how it was a lovely workshop, very informative and friendly, and we've had some constructive criticism as well, because this is the first time we've done these workshops, so by all means, you know, there's, there's things that we're going to learn and things that we can improve on, so that's been brilliant as well, because, um, you know, we can use that, feedback to make sure that our workshops are the best that they can be for everybody so massively appreciate all forms of feedback both positive and constructive as well but on the whole on the overall on the whole um yeah everyone's been really lovely said how much they've enjoyed them um and tickets are really going for the other workshops as well which is brilliant and again because i think you know venues and such are opening um you guys are wanting to get back out there and get hands on, which is fantastic. And because of that, this week I've got a meeting with two venues, um, one based in the Stockport kind of Heaton Moor area. And um, I'm in talks with another one in the Oldham area and another one kind of north of Rochdale area. So I really want to spread out where we host these workshops to make sure that you know people all around Greater Manchester have a chance to take part in them. So watch this space. More workshops will be added soon, and as I say, in different areas of Manchester, so hopefully one of them is near where you live. Um, so we've got all them coming up, loads of different workshops still to come, so get your tickets for those. Also, Art All Day update, we are this close to signing the contract with um, Hallie St Peter's, it's just a few little things, obviously as you can imagine, with COVID and everything, their contracts have had to change, indoor events have had to change in general. Um, so we're just ironing out some of the little creases because I don't want to have to postpone it again. So I want to make sure that this new date and venue is absolutely right um, for how we want to host this art all day. So there's just a couple, couple of little things, but we are this close to getting the contract signed and we'll relaunch the art all day um, event online. So you can find out more about how we've changed it and what is to come. So again, that will be announced soon. Um, what else have we up to so on the blog new article this week is about manchester international festival so they released their press um release recently and ran through some of the events that they've got coming up so it's going to be in july i think it launched on the first and it's until the 18th of july and they've got a really good lineup i think this year it should be good but our article focuses on kind of the art side of things so the visual arts the exhibitions and installations that they've got going on so check that out We've also got the new man of the month, um, Angelica Dennis, also known as Modern Woven. So make sure you read her interview. And we also have um, the article I wrote about the In Manchester exhibition. Um, what else is new this month on there? Upcoming exhibitions. As I said, I think I mentioned it last week. We might do another one of those because there's a lot of exhibitions opening up. Um, so I'll try and get that in before the end of the month. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. Next week... We will launch our In Manchester online exhibition, which is very exciting. So that features all of those artists that applied for the um, open call that want to be featured on the online exhibition. So there's going to be hundreds of artists on our website. Um, I think it might be the biggest online exhibition ever. Don't quote me on that. Um, but we're super excited about it. So that'll be launching on Monday. It's coming Monday the 17th. And we've also got another workshop this Monday, the How to Draw Workshop. So again, there's a few spaces left on that. Um, if you're watching this when I've released it, there is some spaces left. So get booking on that. God, we've got busy, we've got a super busy time. Um, so that's our next workshop, the How to Draw. That's Monday the 17th. And following that, we have got the two-part 
booby clay pot making. And if you don't want to make a booby pot, that's fine. You can make a normal, non-descript kind of cylinder shaped pot. Um, but that's a two part workshop. So part one, you will learn the clay and you'll build the shape with the clay. That'll be left to air dry for the week. And then you'll come back the following week and paint it how you, how you wish. So I think that's a really good workshop um, because you get the two different skills. You get to make the pot, learn how to do, you know, what to do with clay. Then you get to paint it. And also you can get air, air drying clay pretty pretty easily actually i bought some from hobbycraft but that was probably more of the expensive side i'm sure other shops will sell it and probably cheaper so i think this workshop's great to give you that kind of um you know introduction into clay and air drying clay and, and how you can mold it and, and such um so yeah that's two parts that's on the 6th of june and then the following week the 13th of june so again a few spaces left on that to get booking on that and i think i think that's everything for this week um yeah i think that's all so yeah busy 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 lots of new workshops in the planning um planning the art all day or up you know update and getting that back on to sorry that was luna um getting art all day back up and running properly and then after that we'll think about our christmas events oh so busy but exciting and i can't wait to carry on on this kind of path that we're on um, people seem to be loving what we're doing at the moment. I'm loving what we're doing at the moment. And I want to thank you all again for following and, you know, keeping up with what we're doing. Obviously, as I say, you know, anyone wants to speak to me, anyone want to shout out any questions, get in touch. You can do via the um, link on the website. And don't forget to subscribe. I think that's it. All right, guys. Have a lovely week. See you again soon. Bye.